Here we are in front of the United Nations, and this is a challenge for all of us to become more proactive in praying for the nations of the world, praying for what goes on here. There are believers that are committed to ministry here. And when we think of the crisis in Darfur, we think of the crisis in Afghanistan and Iraq, Somalia, other parts of the world, we need to be more proactive in praying for the United Nations. And we pray that more Christians, more believers will get involved in this side of God's great kingdom work. God bless you. We want to hear from you. We're actually here in the Security Council of the United Nations. I've never seen this before except maybe in a movie. And it's a reminder of the need for us as believers to be praying for peace and to be praying for the leaders of the nations, even as we're commanded in the book of Timothy. Well, we're back here at the World uh, Trade Center, Ground Zero, and the work is uh, slowly progressing. And we, we remember all those that gave their lives here, remember their loved ones, many of whom still perhaps are tormented with memories and grief. And it's just a challenge, I think, for all of us to reach out more, to present the gospel to people, because that, that really, the end of the day, is the only hope. Nobody knows if they're going to live beyond tomorrow. We need to have a greater sense of urgency to reach people with the gospel before it's too late.